for Edinburgh. Who plays for Edinburgh, a wonderful player indeed. And then it's Frank Lamani at nine. And Ben Vola Vola of Racing. There's the referee, Mr. Matthew Carley of England. Okay. The man in charge. To a sober, Radrada, Talibula, Vatabua, and Gonova is the back line. It's France, Fiji, final test match for these two nations with Ben Ready? Vola Vola getting the game underway. Time on, please. Who lives only about five miles away from the Stade de France. Here we go then, Fiji up against France, dry night here at the Stade de France with Picamo taking the high ball. Good, safe hands Use it! from King Louis, as he's called in the French media. Batty Serran finds touch. Number one, the throw will be for Matavesi, Monish Pirates hooker. France, they. 15 metres. Oh, he's neatly taken there by Vatabua. Places rugby down in the Pyrenees for Poe. Neatly done. Good hands. We're expecting some uh, extravagant rugby here from the Fiji. They've also got some big players who uh, are very capable of battering holes inside of any defence. Vola Vola going out wide, this is a good play, ball comes out to Gonova, and a little kick through, that might have gone out, is it still in, oh it's a dive there, has that been grounded, I don't think so, but Matavesi was up there, wants to go up to the TMO, but I don't think Mr Carly will give him the green light. Listen. It's a Please none of this, just say check, don't make the signal. Bonjour. Nami Lopez gets hold of the ball. The Clemon at fly half. Was expected to start alongside his teammates at Clermont in the French squad. Morgan Parra picked up an injury. Which enabled Batty Serran to get himself. Well, that's uh, good work by the yeah, Maestri. Got his hands, got his grapple hooks rather. All first, clear around the ball. And he didn't let go. Good pitches, yeah. Patience. Thought that might have been a line out. It's over the line anyway. When Matavesi grounded the ball. Fiji. 29 kilos. Sorry, 31 kilos more than their opponents. And that's gone down. Anti Serra until to play. Cami Lopez, Gail Ficky, Bastua. Big hit coming in from there. Fijian centre to take him down. Batty Serra. Ball's been stolen. Backwards play on. Backwards. Oh, it's backwards. all gone backwards by each team. Here's Radrada at the border. Off the centre. Nine, nine, nine. Vola Vola. And his little kick that's gone straight out. Look at that hit coming in. Radrada. And Vatabua slamming into Bastero. Thank you. Now he'll come to the middle. <laughs> yeah, they will come. They will come. We get penalised. Thank you. Stay. Girardo straight into the hands of Bahamahina. Batty Serra, Cami Lopez, Lopez, oh he's been hammered. Uh, Lopez and Teddy Chama under a lot of pressure as well. Gel Fico uh, around the outside, he goes Arkin. They're coming in full force, aren't they? With uh, Yato, the last man to just smash into Batty Serra. Use it! Uh, Gail Fico, sorry. Bahamahina. Use it. No. He was 
was in front of the ruck formed you reached back to pick the ball up yeah he was in front of it the ruck was formed and that is going to be a penalty now ruck got, forms, he uh, reached back to pick the ball up to run through ben vola vola the racing yeah. man from the Waratahs, Crusaders and Rebels man, he's going to go for the corner. They don't want to mess around trying to kick for three. They want seven points. That's what I like about Fiji. They don't mess around. And that's a very good kick there from the Fijian Outside fly the half. Now look Outside where the five. Pikamol is. Thank you. Step. Thank you. Can't be in front of the ball and reach back and take it. Matavesi going to pick out one of the big men. Oh, it's been snatched and flipped back into the hands of Batisera. Oh, there's been a block and a charge down. It's going to be a 22. Vatabua doing some great work there. Some great pressure. You put it in there. No, but they, it never came out. You put it in, it never came out. Let's have a look at this. So it's going to be a scrum at five. Ball flicked back. Chuck the ball back into the 20, into the behind the line. Yeah. And so we Not have a scrum five. Too much pressure before set. Higher. We'll keep it, no pressure, okay? Wait for the ball. If the ball went over. Time off. And knocked no forward ball. by, uh, or kicked into the... Uh, in the zone of a PG and player, yeah, then uh, get the set up first. Would have been a 22, not the case. Now, this is going to be an important move for Fiji. Oh, oh, the their chances tonight, Fiji, I can tell you that, just because they're so knowledgeable about French uh, rugby, that they will know the ins and outs, how it all functions. Watch out for Frank Lamani, the scrum half, just 22 years of age, a real whippersnapper. Big shove there, ball's come out really quickly, was it hooked? I don't know. Well, he's just been tackled there, spillage, ball goes forward. And, and then we can see that... Use it! Laurie does well. Seran clears the danger. The advantage is over, and it's going to be a line out for Fiji up near the 10 metre line. Monitored closely there the by Gonova, Newcastle, the Lillian, Falcons player. Great work from Batty Seran. It's easy. Well taken there indeed by Kabubati. Not many options, Lamani getting hit back. Good running there from Mata. Going forward again. Then Vola Vola, a little kick through. It's cheeky. That's taken into the 22. Offside. Well, the mark was made. It was just inside, apparently. Offside in front of the kick. Oh, offside, sorry. Offside, number 13, yeah. In front of the kick. Semi Rodrada. Six foot three. 100 kilos. Former Parameter Eels player in the NRL. And a former Toulon player before he joined Bordeaux. Fiji putting plenty of pressure on France, but now they finally get out of their own half and kick for touch. Big hit coming in from Arthur Ituria. Again, Gerardo. Well taken by Vahamahina. More! Picked up by Pikamal at the back. They're going forward. Far too many Fijian players on the wrong side. They need to get back and try and defend that. Once! 
They're being held now, the ball's not coming out. Matty Serra needs to get his hands on it. Here it is. France moving forward and Bastero, they need to hit him low. He hits the ground, there's some good marking going on there. Serra, oh, Rouge, that's gone forward. And it's going to be a scrum for Fiji. Lost control oh, before he came the ball. A bit of a frantic and nervous Wait. affair. Battle's taking place up front. Maybe we've got well, that would have been a good opportunity, that would be for uh, Uge. Just to get past the game line. Couldn't keep the ball in his hands. Patience, pull the ball on in the set. Yeah, yeah no problem. Let's play. Jack Brunel looking for his fourth win in 11 matches. Lost seven, of course. Three of those against New Zealand last summer. Fine! John McKee, the Kiwi, in charge, the 61 year old. 36 matches since he became the coach in 2014. Sideways and start again. 120, one draw, we lost just 15. Not bad. No problem, but I need to set the scrum first. Crouch! Bind! Set! Lomani oh. feeds the ball in, it's been oh, hooked. Nine, nine. Here they go, Ben Vola Vola, trying to get past his man. Oh, he just couldn't get the ball to his uh, teammates. Well, that was uh, a problem, it should have been taken forward there by Vatabua. Disappointing. Double knock on scrum for France. Wow. Tabua playing his 13th match for Fiji. Come down. Number three overbalancing to the floor, just bring the feet up, number three. Okay. We can see that uh, the London Irish the 15. tight head solo, the former Toulon player and Tuna Suara Saracens from Suba just uh, Coming off his feet, under the pressure from his opposite man, oh, yeah. Jefferson Poirot. So Seran will try and put the first points on the scoreboard. So they're taking this seriously. You know, it's not one of those games where they just say, oh yeah, we're going to go for the corner and try and get the seven points. I think after 13 minutes played, we've definitely seen the Jack Brunel's men they're under a lot of pressure here. And they're up against a team who believe in themselves and believe that they can get a victory. They're gaining confidence. They come into this match having crushed Uruguay, of course. 68 points to seven. Uruguay may not be categorized as a top tier team, but they're still a team that have played in World Cups before. And the kick's gone wide, and Batty Serran, the Bordeaux scrum half, misses his first attempt. 14 minutes in, 0-0. Right, we play, we play now! Josh 
Joshua Tuisova has the lead. Got his hands on the ball. And is uh, Vola Vola. Long ball kicked up into the hands of Cami Lopez. The Claire Montoir. Lou Picamont puts Matavesi. He brings him down. Lopez, big up and under. Teddy Toma involved, getting involved here. He must be locked out. Is that going to be a line out for France, maybe? I think possibly Vola Vola had the last touch with that. Yeah. Well, look. Scrum or line? Line out. Well, they've got the, uh, some big men in this uh, in this pack, of course. Nakarawa, who's an absolute giant, trying to steal the ball on that occasion unsuccessfully. Six foot six, Kevin Barty, six foot seven, and Yato is six foot five. They breathe them big in Fiji, there's no doubt about it. Bastero, another islander. Well, not from the same ocean. Oh, it's been stolen, surely. Well, the ball went forward, I thought. It was pulled backwards by a Fijian player. Going through the phases now. Well, oh, that's a very poor pass. That's been knocked on. What a horrible pass that was into the hands of Victoria. <laughs> Oh, Thank you. Oh, fierce warriors on the pitch, very calm and collected off it, the Fijians. Wonderful people. Let's go, let's go. Yeah. Ready. You're ready. You're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. You need seven more people. There's nothing like sharing a, a car back in a village in Fiji and just talking and telling stories until the sun comes up. Time off. And then you go and check the ball around on the beach. The problem is you'll come off. Yeah, no, that's right. Calm down. Patience. Calm down. Time on. Lomani yes. will feed the ball into this scrap. Still. Scoreless here at the Stade Five. de France. Set! Lomani. It's the ball out to Volevo. Oh, this time we've got a kick. Now you're uh, pumped right up the middle. Taken well by Benjamin Fowl. The Montpellier man responds. Oh, six, six! Thank you, Oscar. kick of his own. Yeah. Volevo. Oh, he struck the dummy there. That's very well played. That is Bastille takes out the Racing man. And that's been stolen, but he was off his feet. Please. Oh. Oh. Ripping the ball. But he was, uh, his knee was on the ground at one point. Well played by Volovola, just uh, deceiving that French defence. And they gave themselves a good opportunity to kick the ball. That is a fantastic kick, look at that, right up to the five metre line, and this is the perfect attacking five platform. Vula Vula is on fire. Very talented player. And uh, very much in the limelight at the moment, as his, uh, his partner is uh, the Hollywood star, Shailene Woodley. Played in Diversion Spider-Man 2. They met in Fiji while she was shooting a film. Oh, the scrum. The, the driving ball goes down. Lamani's got his hands on the ball. He needs some support though. Only two Fijians. Play the ball. He's been told to play it. He needs to play it, otherwise he'll get into trouble. Battling it at the breakdown. Lamani 
He's the big man. They need the big men to get involved. It needs to be quick. He's offside. Red Rado, Red Rado. Oh, my word. Look at that. How strong was that? Brilliant. Barge and charge. And Semi Red Rado puts Fiji on the scoreboard. And how about that? He absolutely blitzed that French defence. A stunning piece of rugby from Semi Red Rado, the Bordeaux centre. Let's have a look at this again. Marnie gets the ball out to Wakana Borutu. And there he is, again, straight into the hands of Semi Rodrade. Knocks down Bahamahina, the biggest Frenchman on the field. Look at that. Batty Serran is just battered down like a dying fly. Thank you, well done, Tom. Cami Lopez as well. And there he is. Pleasing his coach, John McKee. That is remarkable. And that's a guaranteed seven points here for Fiji, who have silenced. Pastoreau talking about playing, taking the ball out wide. And make an effort in what they're what they planned in training. Vola Vola adds the extras. Well, Rad Rade will have had an eye on his team Bordeaux's uh, match against Toulon. The team that he plays for now and the team that he used to play for. Bordeaux beating Toulon. What a fine start for the Islanders. Neatly taken off the top by Mata. a good contest. We've got so many Olympic champions in this Fijian squad. Benjamin Fowler takes the ball for Rugby Sevens, of course, in 2016 in Rio. We've got a penalty. No. Got it roll out of there. Campo. Your hands down. Just walk away. I know. Just uh, getting a little bit of a warning there. And the kick goes up to the edge of the 22. Benjamin Fowl, very strong. That's for you. Full back Who's winger for for you. Montpellier. And there's the Leicester man going in like a... Inside. Giant burrowing mole. Gerardo's line out, taken well by my Ma Maestri. Near to the 22. The structure is good with Jefferson Poirot, another player from Bordeaux at the back. Gerardo takes over, he's off. Same ball. Armahina gets smashed, but Break Gerardo's on the ground. Goal. Here it is, they're taking it forward with Poirot. The loose head prop. Release. He gets hit back, needs to give the ball to his teammates. Maestri, head down into the war zone. Matavesi puts in a good tackle. But he didn't wrap his arms. Penalty no, no arms. for France. Serang gets the ball out to Teddy Toma. A serial try scorer, just like Gail Ficou. Picks the ball up. A little bit closer, still got the advantage. Garrado, it's not a good pass. And it's going to be a penalty for France. Number two, no arms in the tackle. Number two, no arms. Garrado. Is yeah. No, shoulder to shoulder for me. Lopez kicks for the corner. On the line. On the line. He's a hard little man, isn't he, uh, Guillaume Garrado? The French captain. The line out as smooth as can be. Maestri. But the pressure and the force coming up against them is almighty. The French still moving forward. Crapping along until Gerardo scores the try for France. And puts their first points on the scoreboard. And uh, leading by example. The Toulon hooker, Guillaume Gerardo.
the France captain, 5 7. 5 7. When you come in, time it. When you come in the line, time it. So well structured. 50 50. Everybody just tied up together. It wheeled itself around, eliminating numerous Fijian players, and then afterwards they were just uh, they were outnumbered, and the force took them over the line to score the five points they were desperately after. But Seran shouldn't have a problem from this distance, and indeed he hasn't. World Square once again here in Paris. Seven points for France. Every Seven time there's a try, Fiji. CMO will check it from the start to the finish. If there's something clear, we will get it. But if we don't see it on the field and he doesn't see it, it's not clear. 25 minutes in. An interesting scenario. Some folding here. Oh, that's a... Uh, that come off his arm. That's a knock on. It's going to be a scrum for Fiji. Came off his leg, it's not a problem. His head, it's not a problem. They love their captain, Uge. Landing a kiss on just his a little bit of pressure head. off on the bind. This is not to say too much, okay? Listen. Well, the fans who have turned up here, enjoying themselves, getting behind their national team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But listen, I'm asking you to take some pressure off, and I will look then if it's a clear picture. It's difficult when we have both sides. We got a team. We got a player in the uh, nice rendition from Marseilles. We've got a Pro D2, a second division player in the on the bench. Demba Bamba. Find won the Junior World Championships with France in Bézier back in June, beating England in the final. Bolivar getting the ball out. Oh, that's a big hit coming in by Hugé. Uh, oh, there's a chance, there's an opportunity here with Goneva taking the ball forward. Hugé coming up on Radrada very quickly. He wasn't able to do the same thing again. Charge from Nakarawa. Volavola going out wide. Vatabua gets the ball out to Radrada again. He's causing all sorts of problems. Good work at the breakdown from Ituria. It's a penalty for France. Job well done. Uh, sorry, Wenceslas Lorry, the racing man. Doing the business, former Beerits player. Working extremely hard there on his 20th cap for Les Bleus. It's a good uh, face of play. PT won't be happy losing the ball like that. That's when Hugé came up on Radrada. He didn't even budge too much though, did he? Didn't even hit the deck. Voila, 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 getting the ball out wide. It was Radrada. And he's straight over there, isn't he, uh, Lorry? Very strong arms and hands. Didn't four, want to let five. go of the ball. Line out for five for France. You tell me four again and it's five, it's a free kick, okay? No? Not again, not again. Come on, Fiji. Let's get Thank the you. numbers right. Girardo. Bahamahina. Vittoria's going up for it. Sani's taking it. Oh, they dropped it. And that's going to be a scrum oh. for Fiji. Those little mistakes. You can see Picamo there with Jeff Sabuara. That shouldn't have been dropped at all. Kind of a lot of frustration to see them into their game. Uh, they've been lacking confidence for such a long time, the French players. As soon as they uh, get caught up with their emotions, they do lose it. One of the downsides of the French team when they're, when they're confident and things are going well, they look like the best team in the world. When their heads drop, and mistakes start to seep into their game.
That's all. Well, everything in place. It's not on purpose. He just got stuck. Yeah. For the scrap. Bind. They need to get this right, Fiji. That's better. Frank Lamani, they want it out as quickly as possible. There is better. Oh, follow, follow. This is a brilliant play. roberta has gone again. This is an opportunity. Ball comes out, and there's a chance in the corner. Oh, I don't believe it. Two is over. Scored try number two. And the Toulon man gets creeps in in the corner. And how about that for a well worked try? That's Fiji at its best. Let's just have a look at this again. The little short hanging pass. Oh, the one-handed run as well, and finally, the score in the corner by the Shulon man. There's Frank Lomani, beautiful pass, Vola Vola with a hanging pass. And just look at this, it's an absolute treat to the eye. And he doesn't go over the paint, that is seven points, well scored, well five anyway. Just there, that's fine. Tight, Tommy. <laughs> Nailed the first one. I'd say it wasn't. From quite close range. Let's see what he can do with the second. Maintain his 100% record. No, he's pulled that wide, so 12-7 it is for Fiji. But what a remarkable start to this game. They really did work hard in their training sessions, and that was a beautiful set piece that really functioned perfectly. It's a hanging pass there, short hanging pass from Ben Vola Vola, who's played in Super Rugby for the Rebels, Crusaders, Waratahs, been around the block. Knock on advantage. Jefferson Poirot, they got the advantage Eight from the, the knock on. Still a knock on advantage. Benjamin Fowl. Advantage over. No more advantage. My street into the war zone. Seran digs the ball out. Cami Lopez. Lopez gets the ball. Oh, spillage in the tackle. And Fiji, here we go again. Got these, what are these hands capable of doing? There's the full back, Talabula. Oh, Vola Vola's made a break. This is brilliant play. What's he going to do? Go around the outside. The pass comes out. Oh, he's got extra support here. The big men are on a mission. Lamani, Vola Vola. Oh, this is fantastic play. Here's the captain charging through. Thank you, Rabba. Not one advantage. And the advantage now for France, the ball kicked forward. This is extravagant stuff. Talibula needs to get himself back up on his feet. Well, uh, two is sobered as well. Use it! And the clearance kick come, come. is a very good one. Up to the halfway line, Louis Picamol around the outside. Watch out for the big man. A bruising charge there, but what a fine tackle from Mafu, the Leicester Tigers player. Girardo. Off the ball. Wow, this is. Off the ball, no, five. That's release. Nicaragua told to get off. Oh, spillage. And well, this is going to be a scrum for Fiji. High octane rugby, or what? I said release, and you did. That was the hit that came in from Batabua. That's why I said no. And Ben Vola Vola, what options has he got here? Little kick through into the corner, no. Waits for uh, Radrada. Time off. 
That was very smart play, wasn't it? The way he's looking at all the time, looking for options. Chucks the ball out to the left-hand side. Little oh, jinky yes, pass. There it is. Picked up there. It's not Brad Rada, is it? It's the big man, Pacelli Yato. But they all are the same size anyway. Whether you're playing <laughs> centre, flanker, second row. <laughs> <laughs> Even the fullback Talabula is uh, probably about 95 kilos. Yeah, okay, make sure you hold your, hold your weight. And Brilliant first half okay. for the Islanders. Yeah, France no are up against it. Find, okay? Time still off. Okay, time on. Just wait for mine. Lima! Crouch! Bind! Set! Who's going to have the full moon party tonight? The Mani. Free kick. Going in too quickly. Number one early pressure. Here. Scrum. Scrum. They love it that much, don't they? Let's yeah, scrum down again. Jefferson Quarra under a bit of pressure there. Needs to listen to the commandments given by the referee, Mr. Carly. Time off. Okay, time off. Stand up. Please. Wait, wait for me to say bind before you put any pressure. Don't come across and put your head on his shoulder. You just have to keep off him. Let's play. Time on. For the starting 11, we're part of the Crouch! BG Rugby Sevens team that won gold in Rio. Coached by Ben Ryan. Living legend in Fiji. Oh, Lamani goes blind side. There's the big charge here coming in from Yato. Good, quick shot thinking. Oh, spillage there, Nakarawa. The ball's out for France. My street. Lopez. Girardo straightens up. Advantage is over. No more advantage, as you can hear. Benjamin Falbastero, good, quick hands. Gelfiku hasn't had the ball, has he? He does. He's gonna find it quite difficult up against the, the Fijians today. They move very swiftly, very quickly, don't they? Big charge from Picomol again. Lopez, Teddy Toma, little chip through. No, he's gonna try and dodge the bullets. Not the case. Oh, it's been stolen. Brilliant play, good opportunity here, what can they do, Red Rada? Oh, Fiji are on a roll, they're going to go all the way, I don't believe it, this is unbelievable. And there's your try, scored by Garnever, and the Newcastle Falcons man, From the 34 years of age. The player that picked the ball up, was he onside? We're going to check to see if he was onside when he took, picked the ball okay. up, as you heard from Mr. Carley. Oh, there's a big question there, Red Rada. On field decision is a try. Or to check if from the turnover, the player is onside who collects the ball. How about that? He's 34 and he's still running like a teenager. Going about such a quality player. Now, was he behind the foot? For the back of that, uh, that ruck? He has to be behind the back foot of the last person in the ruck. Yeah, no worries, no, no, no rush. Offside. I was happy, but if I see any different, clearly. Right, here we go. No, it's not this, you need to move forward. It's over here. So wait till Teddy Thomas goes down. Watch those pink boots. Does he get back this behind? Will be the one, Kitty. 
It's Rad Rada in his pink boots, so just keep an eye on him. He comes through the front, falls over. Now where is he? Is he behind the back foot? If he is, then that's fine. Well, that's not going to be a good this angle. This is the last one coming up. Yeah, no problem. It's the wrong angle, isn't it? You need to be the other side to see where the back foot of the. One more. That's the best. This could be that's the best angle. angle here. Yeah, it's the player who picks it up after Regains the steal. Regains his feet. Yeah, he's all right. And he I stops think. Stops the ball coming back because he stands 13. up there. Yeah. Yeah. Is he offside or onside? He looks offside to me. I'm going to show you that one again. There. No, it's the wrong one. That's not the right one. You need to go back to the to he the last one. He goes back behind his own player. So this is the okay. one here. Yep. Okay. No worries. One right. more look. Look at so the number the eight. Turnover's fine. It's the player who stands up. He traps the ball the pink, in his leg. Pink boots. He picks it up and plays. Yes. So he's offside. Yeah, 13. Yeah, right. that's the right angle. The he is offside. Fine, okay. The player who Gemma plays the ball is standing up in an offside Gemma position, decision. so he's offside. Number 13 with the pink boots. The turn no, listen. The turnover is fine. But the ball comes out of a ruck or out of the tackle, and he is offside. Okay. No. Offside penalty. The player who picked the ball up is offside. It's true. How far? Now. Offside. Offside. Yeah. Yeah. And I wonder, we didn't look to see if the ball actually yes. got knocked forward by a French player. And if that wasn't taken into account, then uh, they've been hard done by Fiji. Because the initial error would have been the knock-on made by the French. But in any case, uh, that's behind us now. Girardo's line out. France on the attack, looking to try and restore parity. Two minutes to go. They lose ball in the line out. And Nakarawa gets those very long arms and wraps them around the ball. Use it! They call him the Homme Pieuvre in France. Octopus man. Just because you, you get the impression that he's got eight arms the way that he just uh, is able to offload the ball after contact. Oh my word. It's going to be a scrum for France. Vola Vola making a massive mistake there. Didn't catch the ball. Wow. Well, there's never a dull moment when you're watching Fiji. That was the line out that was won beautifully. Let's have a look at this. It's the problem when you start to look at the defenders running at you. Sometimes you get the impression that you've got magic hands and you'll catch everything. Not the case, I'm afraid, Ben. There are times when you really need to just secure the ball before you try and do anything. Now, a minute to go. France have a scrum, and I think that they'll try and push this. That's gone down. And they need to be very careful. Poirot has already been penalised for collapsing. Thank you, Gitty. Crouch! Bind! Oh, set. French scrum at the last few seconds of the first half. Balls fed into the French pack. They're going forward. They got a penalty, but I'm afraid that that's gone up. They're going to. Well, they will. Well, with three seconds to go, they get their scrum reset. Only one player stood up, and that's number one, so he needs to stay down. Listen, 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 come here. Campo. It's 
40 minutes. Nothing silly because we're half time after this scrum. Yeah. Please keep your hands down. Okay. Thank you. We're having a Slimani. <laughs> Just a full game of Kepo Mafu. The Leicester man. Down. If you're the only player up, you can't have a reward and you can't go forward. You get the same picture. Same picture. Big scrum. But an important scrum. The French will want to try and get something from this at least. We've gone into, gone past the 40 minute mark. Last play of the half. And a chance. Seran, being told to use it, Bastero, Bastero, Bastero still going, he's still going, the Fijians are stopping him from going forward, where's that ball, there it is, Paro's there, Gerardo's got his hands on it, he goes for the line, he's still driving forward, there's the ball, Picamol around the outside, tries to turn, makes the ball available, now they go out wide, the ball's been chucked out to Teddy Toma, they've been pushed back a little bit, and Fijians flying in to just bring down the French counterparts. Laurie smashed by three Fijians. Crikey, they're throwing their bodies on the line here. Maestri, Lopez, Picamol. Hits the deck. Good tackle there coming in from Vatabua. The Paloas. Girardo. Only two minutes into. Extra time here in the first half. Bouge. To a sober trying to get his hands on it. His Picamol, Picamol. That was a good line there from the Montpellier number eight. Slimani. The time has come. Rabba Slimani. A little bit closer. There's Arthur Turia, which way is he going to go? He gets hit back. Three, four Fijians. Hands away! Is this Gerardo this time? He gets hit back. Is that turnover ball? No, they've still got it. The ball's come out, the ball's come out. There's a chance for France. Jefferson Poirot. Seven, I think they've got an advantage here. They do indeed. So they got three points guaranteed. They need to be careful not to commit too many errors here, Fiji. Otherwise, they'll be given a penalty try. Ball go comes out finally. Lopez, 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 Lopez still going. Batty Seran, where's he going to go? Well, that was forward. Forward pass. Two penalties, one on the 15. Where? Where, though? Where? Shoot, in front of the post. Guillaume. Here on the 15 or in front of the posts? Yeah. Hang on, Guillaume. No, no. Yeah. Roll away, first defence number eight, then 12 offside. Okay, they've gone for the corner. Forget about the three points. We're going to have a 45 minute first half. On the line. On the line. Numbers, I don't know. Gerardo into the hands of Arturia. They've been hit very swiftly. Once. There's the mall. Is it moving? It's moving. It's starting to shift. Out. Out. Need to get around in the right position. Still going forward. Oh, it's Gerardo. Try number two. And the French captain is there again. And now we're back on square with a chance to nudge France ahead with the boots of Batty Seran. Very well worked line out, they were patient. It was a risky option, but they believed in themselves. And that driving mall has been pretty effective. He had Houge just behind him. But he didn't really need any help. That's a fine score indeed. Two tries for Guillaume Carrado, who's been the star of this first half for France. But a very close clash indeed. Yeah. 
Saran with a chance to give France the lead for the very first time here tonight in Paris. Tricky kick from the corner. Already missed one. It's a beautifully struck conversion and France move ahead 14-12 after 40 minutes and the French team go into the changing rooms well confident that they can now come back out for the second half and uh, spill that fine form in the last few minutes into the second 40. 14-12 France lead Fiji. The referees have whistled half time. Welcome back to the Stade de France. It's autumn test match rugby between France and Fiji. Fiji have really put up a fine fight in the first 40 minutes. And uh, it stands France 14, Fiji 12. Fiji led until the last few minutes of the first half. And uh, well, literally the last, uh, last play of the first half because Gerardo scored a, a try in the, what, the 44th minute. That brought them level. Patti Seran adding the extras just to nudge them 14 12 ahead. Now, can Fiji put in another fine 40 minutes? Or will this all be about French domination? We'll have to wait and see. What we've seen so far some interesting running rugby by Fiji. It's all very intricate and, and uh, snazzy, sexy rugby. Call it what you like. The French are trying to uh, stick to their game plan of uh, working hard around the, uh, the fringes and uh, doing the simple things very well yeah, before so. uh, getting the ball out wide to some of their fine marksmen. Yeah, perfect. Let's Thank see you. if they find the right way forward. We peek them up. Playing a good first 40 minutes, getting a little bit frustrated at times. Good. Just need to keep his composure. Here we go then for the second half of this final autumn test match for the French. For Fiji. 14-12. And a good charge coming from Tuasoba. Folavola gets the ball out to his big lock, Kabubati. Checking the ball around at the moment. Talibula, the Bayon player, playing his 24th match for his country. Taken in. Nakarawa, Nakarawa still goes forward, brought down by his teammate uh, Lori, Lomani, and Vola Vola's big kick. They need a couple of chases. Picamol. Still going, Picamol. I don't know how he managed to do that. That's uh, been given to. Uh, well, you can play that. Yato, not offside, of course. Great running, brilliant running from Nakarau. This is excellent play here. Need to keep this going. That was Mata, sorry. No six off feet. So much space over that far side if they want to try and uh, pop, chip the ball over the top. We know that's ball not out, really the, the way that they play Matavasi. It's Tavesi just uh, taking the ball forward. Nakarawa unable to release the ball. Frank Lamani. No more, no more. Vola Vola's there. What's this going to be? They're going the different way. Matavasi. Oh, that went forward. That's a good opportunity. This is okay for Fiji. It's a little bit fragmented the way that the ball finally got into the hands of Mata. On the Edinburgh player. Gerardo trying to uh, jackal the ball there. Here's a big charge here coming in from the big man Yato. Needs to get out of there. There's a penalty. Lamani. Use it, come on. Wants to get the ball out to. No, you land the wrong side. Same as over here, I understand. Bahamahina just falling on the wrong side of the ball. Carrier. 
Now it's the chance for Vola Vola to put Fiji ahead once again. Let's have a look at this. There he is. Just be careful. He tries to get out of there, and of course he's not being allowed to get out of there because there are support players who are preventing anybody from wearing a blue shirt from trying to steal the ball with the breakdown. And of course this just tees up Vola Vola with a chance to give Fiji a 15-14 lead. man does the business and uh, Fiji move ahead and strike first in the second half and the New Zealand coach is particularly happy here John McKee very good hands there from Talibula full of voila charge coming in from Mata, one of four Olympic champions from Rio in 2016. No, four, four, no! The Harmahina again causing plenty of problems for the Fijians. Benjamin Fowl opens up and gets a little bit of pace going, oh, he gives the ball back to Fiji, an opportunity for Tuasoba, a little kick through, and this is wonderful play, Picamol gets hold of the ball, and uh, Nakarawa comes up, and the French have been pegged back, it was nearly a good piece of play there, a wonderful break from Benjamin Fowl, but uh, Gail Fiku now on the run, Gail Fiku can run like a Fijian himself, gets the ball out to Lopez, he gets snagged, they're running out of space there with Yohan Uge, also capable of producing some good, fine, slick running. Baptiste uh, Serran hits the deck. And France still in their own half after all of that. Told you it's going to be an exciting game. It surely is that. It's not lacking anything really, is it? Girardo, Lopez, Ituria, Fiku, Baptiste Serran. There's my street. Great tackle there, and he's got a Tuasoba trying to get hold of the ball. He doesn't budge when he gets over Bastos' teammate, of course. Girardo's uh, teammate is Louis Picomol. Just going around the fringes, poor tackling here. They need to be careful. He gets mowed down in a big way, Lamani. And uh, Picomol looking very strong. This is a good piece of play here. And that's Jefferson Poirot looking dynamic. Bastero takes the ball. Tackled there by Yato. Ball got knocked forward there by Fiji. That went backwards, not a problem. Siran out wide to uh, Teddy Thomas. Good offload to Benjamin Fall. And the Fijians need to get their hands out of there now. France still in possession. And if they still got the advantage after that knock on. But the fans are getting behind. Leipzig. For Harmahina. Serran to Poirot. Cami Lopez this time out to Bastero, Bastero, Bastero. What can he do? Finds Huge. Oh, no. And the attempts of ripping the ball by Redrada is uh, Laurie this time. That's going to be a penalty, surely. That's great play. Excellent play at the breakdown from Mata Vesey. And the Cornish Pirates hooker does a fantastic job there. Very low. He's got the duck legs. Hands on the ball. And we can see that uh, Vatabua is getting a little bit of treatment. The Palawas man. Right. 
is Jefferson Poirot. Wasn't held. Needs to be a little bit firmer with their tackling. Just make sure that they hold their hold the player. Been pretty disciplined though. There's a little bit of footballing skills. Talabula picks the ball up. Talabula. Picamol is off his feet. Needs to get his let go of that. Amani. Nakarawa. Well, that came off Uge. Good hands, very good hands. To is over. He's very strong when he's running like that. And that's been knocked backwards there. Uge has got his hands on the ball. France. That's a big hit there coming on Gerardo from the loose head prop. Mafu. There's a penalty there. Chance for Fiji. They got numbers. And there's a. They got an opportunity here. Oh, that is outrageous from Nakarawa to Isoba. Try number two for him. And Fiji have scored another try. And they've extended their lead. I think that that's going to be awarded. I don't think that there's any reason why you can't award that try. To Isoba taking an outrageously good pass. The offload from Nakarawa. Both the... Uh, Partners in crime in Rio 2016. But we'll have a look at this again. On the screen now. All right, let's have a look. Late tackle there. Ooh, Huge gets hit there by Kavu Bati. No try. Oh, after all, the... your problem. It's a late tackle. Well, after all that, no try for Fiji. And that's just, it's just disappointing, isn't it? That, that, that's a clear picture of a late tackle. Don't do this. It's not my problem. You have to be the one to solve this for me. Okay. Yeah, Wakana Burutu, not happy with that, but uh, of course, it's a late tackle, it's a late tackle. And uh, lucky he didn't fall down on his head or his shoulders, because that would have been even worse. They just, uh, well, don't get given those five points. We've got a change in the front row. So, Kampu Mafu and Amas Solo will go off. And on it come. Tawaki and Maui. Tawaki, a uh, Beeritz player, former Waratahs player. Driving more, this is where, this is one of their arms that they are exploiting out here tonight the well-structured driving mall but where they want to be is in the Fijian 22 to exploit it they've they got 10 points in fact they've got 14 points from those two thank you two driving malls in the first half OJ smashed to the ground there by Tawaki Needs to get out of there to Arke, otherwise he will get penalised. Maui is uh, a player for Fiji and Drua. And these are the number of balls lost by each team. And Maui just 22 years of age, they're investing in youngsters. He's, got, he's only played uh, three matches for Fiji. Maui wearing the number 17 shirt. We've got another player on the bench with uh, Dolakoto, just 23 years of age, only one cap as well. He'll come on a bit later. And I think we've got a change as well. With, uh, is it Mata who's going off? Yeah. And Kunatani comes on to replace him. A familiar name and a familiar player 
who knows France extremely well. Former Toulouse player, now plays for Harlequins. Uh, great work at the breakdown. Wakanaburu to Louis Picamal. Losing his nerve here. There's Yato just uh, talking to Picamal. Need to just calm down a little bit. Nice pack on the knee for Mata, the Edinburgh player. Can't get frustrated, France. Your penalty, be careful you don't want to lose it, okay? <laughs> Refereed very well so far, Mr. Carley. <laughs> 30 minutes to go, and Fiji lead France. <laughs> and here we have some changes. And what about this? We have the first ever cap for Demba Bamba, the first member of France's world champion under 20 side who comes on to make his full debut for Le Bleu. He plays for second division side Brieve, but he uh, will play for Lyon next season. Lambie will come on as well who actually plays for Lyon, and Dupont replaces Serran. Dupont, of course, very talented scrum half from Toulouse. Oh, the bounce, the bounce, they need to be careful. Uche doing exceptionally well there, tidying things up, and a very decent kick there down into Fijian territory. Picked up here by Yato. Yato's going on a bit of a run, gets the ball out to Vola Vola, this is great play from Fiji, this is well what they like to do, launching attacks, Talabula gets the ball out, Tuasova cuts inside, good running from Tuasova, mows down a couple of players, as he does for Toulon every weekend. Here we have Vola Vola, gets the ball out, his uh, chance for Fiji as they're uh, going forward, Semi Rodrada, he's seen the gap, Rodrada, has he got support, he needs uh, someone outside of him, Bamba brings him down, Fiji deep in uh, French territory. There's the charge, they will be left exposed there. And that's great work from Bastero, he was on his own. And you can't come up against Bastero when he's there to just get over the ball and steal it back. Brilliant play from the Frenchman. The Toulon man is just imperious when it comes to jackling the ball at the breakdown. You can't move him, obviously because he's as strong as ten oxes. Lopez, Gerardo, Ituri all trying to bring down Tuasova. Rodrada with some very fine running as well. And that was the moment that Lamani was down on the ground. France win their own line out. Dupont gets the ball out to Kami Lopez. There's Gail Ficou with uh, Picamol getting involved. They've reset, they've gone deep again. Benjamin foul this time. They really are trying to carve up and trying to find a, a gap in that defense. More great work at the breakdown for Fiji. And that's in kicking range for Vola Vola. Got to release the ball on the ground, Benjamin foul. And it's the substitute, Maui. The loose head prop. There you go, you can do whatever you want. Basta doesn't budge. That's already won. But look at this. Vola Vola. I think it's Vola Vola who take this. He's normally got a good uh, 50 meter kick. Looking to try and make it 14-18. Now, if you put your hands on someone on the floor, you're going to lose a penalty, okay? We will be watching it. Chipping away, aren't they? They've, uh, they know the French so well, most of these Fijians, that they know how to rattle the team. They know what to do against them. It's different when they're coming up against Scotland or, uh, you know, uh, Ireland, 
Wales, whatever. The French, so many Fijians playing in France, not just in the top 14 and the Pro D2. Right down to Federal 1. Volleyball's kick, it's gone wide. It's not a good kick. 14-15 it remains. Two misses for the Racing man. And another change. This time we've got uh, Vetokani who's going to come on. Stop. 15 wide. And uh, it's Talibula who he will replace. Vetokani, the uh, Fijian Drua player. Fifth cap for Fiji, just 26 years of age. Picked up by Bastero. And who's knocked out into touch. You're fast. Okay, time. Line out for Fiji. Not a Vasey. Time on, to the middle. Matavesi. Oh, he's got a little bit over the top. Uh, takes a wicked bounce, picked up by Yato. Yato's got it. Denver. Ball's been stripped, but it's been picked up by Nakarawa. Good hands, Lamani. Oy, that's what they like to do. He's made the break. This is brilliant stuff. Oh, this is excellent. Can they go a little bit further? Vetokani doing the business. T picked up by Radrada. Radrada's still going. 110 kilos of flying Fijian. And they're off again. Vola Vola. Who's going to get the ball now? An opportunity arises. Again, it's Vetokani who gets uh, chopped down very low. They've got the penalty as well. Lamani. Yato, the handoff, oh my word, how on earth did he do that, this is amazing, this is, but they've been, they've had the ball stolen by Nakarawa. How insane is this game? Side number six. France are getting sucked into the game plan set up by Fiji, which is pretty fragmented with their uh, chucking the ball around and just relying very much on natural flair and talent. There is some kind of pattern to their play, but that was a brilliant break from Vaitakani. Semi Rodrada just wriggling out of the tackle from uh, Cami Lopez. This is a pretty straightforward three pointer for Vola Vola. He's missed a couple. He'll want to make himself nail this. Jack Brunel will feel the pressure if they lose this game. One win out of three. The kick is good. 14 points for France, 18 for Fiji. Well, John McKee bringing on Veto Carney. Who's a fly half playing at full back. Oh, it's an interesting option, isn't it? Cami Lopez. Vola Vola. Here he is, Vetukani, fly half. He's got a little kick over the top. Oh, does he get... Well, there's no uh, purpose, no trip or anything. Preso replaces Poirot in the front row. Play on says Mr. Carly. Felix Lambe. Danny Priso, the La Rochelle player. Another young player. Very talented indeed. Benjamin Fowl takes the ball down. That's great work by the Fijians. It's a turnover. This is brilliant play once again. And they're off. And they're off, the little flick, Radrada, he's got a big kick there going. And there's a lot of chasers here. Who's going to get there first? Who's going to grab hold of it? Well, Antoine Dupont does exceptionally well, but the ball slipped out. The ball came out, you can take that, that came out the side. Bastereau, Bastereau. Oh, his foot went out. That is very fine tackle indeed down that left-hand side. 
Crikey, it is all happening. Gunnar with his experience drags Bastero's leg out over the paint. And that's going to be a line out. That, that was brilliant play at the breakdown. And Rudd rather just slowed down. Dupont covers exceptionally well. You've got Teddy Thomas just behind him just in case the ball squirms outside. Yato's there. And all of a sudden the ball does slip out. Look at this. That was brilliant. Grab the leg. Shuck it out on the line. And uh, we will have a change. Is it Atoria who's going to come off for France? Possibly replaced by uh, Kylian Galetier. It's the Montpellier player. Scrum for Fiji. Crikey, they lead by four. There's Kelletier. Plays alongside Louis Picamala, Montpellier. Born and bred in Montpellier. Pure product of the Montpellier Academy, Pic Saint Lou. Just like uh, Francois Tranduc and Fulgencois Dryogo, Julien Thomas, Louis Picamol. 20 minutes to go. France, 20 minutes, uh, four points down to Fiji. Both of you higher, both of you. Fiji have never beaten France in nine matches. Closest they came, the narrowest margin victory. It was France when it was uh, a match played in Suva in 1999. The visitors winning 28-19. This wouldn't be, go down as one of the biggest victories for Fijian rugby, but it would most, or well, possibly it would actually, if you think about it. Fiji beat uh, eliminated Wales in the 2007 final group match, the World Cup. Oh, he's off, he's still going, Vola Vola. And Fiji on the verge of scoring another try. Can they score? I think it's been grounded. No, it hasn't. Just a few meters out. Lopez has got his hands in there. He needs to get his hands out of there. That's a big hit coming in to smash into Gonova. There's a penalty there as well. There's a couple of penalties. They need to be very careful, France. And Uge is in a bit of a problem. Smashing into uh, Gonova. And that looks like it's a bit of a shoulder injury. What I want to see is the uh, the illegal hands in the ruck by Cami Lopez, who was trying to push the ball and nudge it to make it look as if it was a knock-on from the previous ruck. That didn't look, that could have been a penalty in front of the sticks just before the ball came out by uh, Lomani. Look at that. It's an awkward fall on that left arm. And the Toulouse back seems to be fine. Fiji about to launch another attack. They need to get the ball in. That's a penalty again. Take it quickly. Well, he's not going to score that, unfortunately. Lomani. Second from you. Denver's been penalised on that occasion. Not Danny Preso, it's the youngster. Uh, it's Bamba, the uh, the brief player. 122 kilos for his first match. Here we go again. Lomani feeds the ball into this scrub. They want to get it out. There's Lomani. You want to play it now. Here it comes. An opportunity. Big charge from Tuisoba. 
Well, he, we know what he's capable of doing. We see it in the top 14 every weekend. Frenchman need to get out of that. There's a chance, big charge coming in. This time, Wakana Burutu. Nakarawa this time. Head down into the war zone he goes. Lomani. Folivola. To a sova. A wild pass that goes over the head, I'm afraid. And uh, here they go, taking it quickly. He's gone out of play, Dupont. Line out for Fiji. Tuasova smashing into Cami Lopez, Antoine Dupont. And we've got another change this time. It's Tuasui coming on to replace Kavubati. Another very interesting player from Fiji and Drua. His third match playing for Fiji. Well taken by Wak Wakana Burutu. Charge coming in from Vatabua. Oh, there's the break, surely. This is excellent play taken forward there by Kunatani. And Lomani goes outside. Oh, that was just kicked upfield by Antoine Dupont. Fiji needs to try and tidy that up. Oh, he's knocked the full ball forward there, follow for that. That's Francis if they want to take advantage. Laurie. Got to get moving, it's an opportunity, look at the numbers, they got numbers out wide. Oh, that was not a good kick, was it? That is just a very poor kick from Bastero. And that is a, not a bad kick, but not a good enough kick. Picamol, straight down the middle. Oh, he's been held. Matavesi with a good tackle. He let them drop the ball, he released the ball, and that's what you can do these days. Felix Lambe, Picomol doing things smart rugby there. Cami Lopez, little death chip. And that's the mark that's made at the back by Red Rada. This is just madness. Into an action. There have got to be some tired legs out there. Radrada with the clearance. We've got a player who's down injured. And it looks like, is that Picamol? More changes this time for Fiji. Lomani goes off. Senaloli comes on to replace them. The Doncaster player. What a great game he's had, Lomani. Senaloli, 29 years of age, 23rd cap, 50 points scored. Former Treviso player, former Timasoara Saracens, just like Solo in uh, Romania. Picamol shakes himself down and gets himself back on track. Gerardo has ball in his hands as France get ready to take this line out. Remember what they've done so far with those driving malls. Maestri. Picamol this time just uh, peels off the back very quickly. Little change of tactics. Lambie. Dupont, Gerardo, score of the two tries for France. They haven't scored a single point in the second half. It's been a lockdown in the second half for France. Bastereau bounces off one, two, three players. 125 kilos of centre. Can you imagine? It's a good play. This is Bamba this time goes forward. France making progress. Dupont, Picamal. Well tackled, Dupont, Felix Lambe. It's a very strong tackle coming in there from Tuasue, the substitute. Dupont, is that Picamol who's down again on the ground? I think so. This time I don't think he's gonna 
continue playing as soon as the ball goes dead. Galetia this time. It's the end of the game for Picamol. He's not in a good state. You've seen stars after that last drive. Well, there's Bastero. Big clear out. And Fiji continue to try and offer a big, stiff, strong defence. They play this a turnover ball. They got the ball now. Can they take advantage? They need to get it out. This is where they're dangerous. Fiji on the attack. Oh, he didn't release the ball, and that was a mistake. We need a doctor coming on. We need the medics because Picamol's not in a good place. And that's a, a big, strong hit on the forehead. And he's just been in the wars previous to that. I'm a bit concerned for Louis Picamol. He shouldn't get up. He sh Look at this. I don't know where that is. He gets a boot in that. Oh, he gets Guillaume Garrido's boot in his forehead. That's what it is. He d yeah, he's, he needs to. He's such a hard man, Louis Picamol. He's in a rice state. He needs some help. He needs some help. He doesn't want any help, but he needs some help. He needs to be taken off. Louis Picamol, well, as I said, a battle horse, a war horse. Call him what you like. He's an outstanding player, and he gets a, a great applause here because he deserves it. It's been outstanding for France, but there's still four points behind. Victoria comes back on. The Claremont flanker. There'll also be a change in the front row with Gerardo being replaced by Julien Marchand of Toulouse. First match in France. You've got to win, you've got to win, says Gerardo. Marchand, 23 years of age, first ever match. So comes on to replace Tua Soba. Roni so. Eleven and a half minutes to go. Time is of the essence for both of these teams. Fijian defence holding up so far. There's another scrum on the edge of the 22. For Antoine Dupont. Needs to play it now, Dupont around the outside. And the Toulousan hits the deck. The defence holds up. Teddy Thomas is there. To play scrum half. Ball comes out to Marshall. Marshall. Teddy Tomer again playing scrum half. And where Dupont is, the hilarious. Finally, just around the edges. Oh, Teddy Tomer, Teddy Tomer. He's dangerous. Well, comes out France. Uh, Lopez to Bastero. Bastero held up by Radrada. Former teammates at Toulon. Dupont. Lambie. A low tackle there coming in from Maui. Here's Bamba. Oh, he's dropped the ball. Fiji picked the ball up. There's the kick over the top. It's an ugly kick, and they need to be careful there. We'll go back to the spillage and a scrum with a put in for Fiji. The clearance kicks are just not good enough. Just look at what they do. They just wreck your game plan. That is just this excellent hit coming in. It's a two man hit there coming in to prevent Demba Bamba from keeping hold of the ball. Sinaloni also putting in a good tackle. It's Teddy Chama didn't have the support plays there. Welcome to Test Match Rugby. Demba Bamba. It's high octane. It's physical. It's emotional. It hurts. But it tastes good when you win. 
Oh, the ball's come out. There's a good sacking there. They need to be careful. Senaloni. That ball's come out. They've. Uh, Vola Vola has it. And it's uh, going to be a scrum for France. They'll, in, they'll like this situation now. Got a good scrum here. And this is when it really matters. Kill that. That ball just came out in a big way. But they hesitated there. Vola Vola. Unable to pick the ball up, knocks it forward. A couple of mishaps for Vola Vola. Had a good game. First half was great. Very instrumental with the, the passing between him and Lomani. Jeff Dumaru comes on to replace Fiku. Fiku's had a quiet game today, I must admit. After an outstanding game last weekend against Argentina. This goes to show. Well, Fiji have won their last three games on French soil. It'll be the USA, Japan and Canada. Can make it four against their hosts. That would be quite incredible. Where's this scrum going? It's a penalty. They've got a penalty. Now, what will they take? Another scrum. I reckon they will. Who's the captain out there now? Cami Lopez. Possibly, or Yuan Maestri. The rest of the French players. Girardo, Slimani, etc. Can they play an 80 minute match? Fiji and hold on. Such a big, big scrum this is. Needs to play it, needs to use it. Cami, uh, there's uh, Cami Lopez, gets the ball out. Dumaru, Dumaru tries to get over the line. He gets hit back. Dupont, Lumby, the forwards. Here he is, Lumby. Ferocious defensive play there from the Fijians, throwing their bodies there. Bamba, Bamba has a little bit of a roll, can't get forward. Standout player for the French of the 20s team. Lambie again, not making many inroads. It's gaining a couple of yards. Desperate defending here for Fiji. They'll want to make the turnover. Can get their hands on it there. Dupont digs for it. Lopez is there. Watch out for Bastero. No, they're going to use the forwards. Marshall. No, Lamby once again. And the Leon man takes it up inside the five meter mark. Danny Preso. My street. Three pronged attack there. Fiji need more players to defend. Some tired legs out there. Have to keep on going. Lamby. Trying to get their hands on the ball. It's come out. There it is. Dupont runs into trouble. It's a good hit there coming in from the captain, Wakana Burutu. They've been pushed back an extra four or five meters. Frantic stuff here. Ituria on for his second spell. Dupont. Danny Preso. Oh, that was good work at the breakdown. Fiji can't get their hands on the ball. Maestri. Nakarawa. No hands on the ball. Dupont again. Felix Lambe. This time the ball does come out for Dumaru. Dumaru can't do much with that. Felix Lambe this time. They need some defensive defenders over in the corner. They're starting to uh, find the creaks in the floorboards. Ball comes out as an opportunity. Now, is there going to be a kick? Dumaru bounces off one player. Can he find his way through? Oh, what a hit there coming in from the Fijian. And that is surely going to be a penalty there. Players not rolling out of the tackle. Cami Lopez gets the ball out. Benjamin foul this time. Goes on a bit of a mazy run. Lambi again showing so much strength. And he just continues to go forward. This time Dupont. Bastero. Bastero. Bastero held up. He's managed to get the ball back somewhere. We got a penalty. What are we going to go for? Scrum. Five minutes to go. This is just 
intense. <laughs> Counting is good to start with, but they all went off their feet trapping the ball. Push. Roger. Just wait. It's not just the players who need a breather. Wow. Whoever wins this match, well, we don't know just yet. But what I can say is that they've all fought like warriors out there for the last 75 minutes, every single player. And it has been great entertainment for all of those watching. They're all, normally they'll have to be a losing and a winning team unless we, uh, well, some, I don't know, something means that they, they finish level but they need to win Guillaume Gerardo knows how important this match is for France the trailing by four not the perfect situation players coming off their feet at the breakdown penalty for France this is crucial for France this is the line out that they've worked so well in the match. They've scored two tries from well-organized line-outs that turn into driving balls. The take is good from Ituria. Marchon at the back, wearing the boots of Guillaume Garrado, kind of. Will they have three tries scored by two hookers tonight, France? It's turned around. And that's not coming out, it's going to be a scrum for Fiji. That is unbelievable. Well, it worked. It was working so well for France. Guillaume Garrado's not on the pitch anymore. And Julien Marchand playing his first ever match for France. Doesn't have the same experience. Picamol. Seems to be okay. Nasty cut given to him by Pika Mullen. We got uh, a certain Anthony Bello who's come on for Lopez for the last few minutes. Can he turn things around for France? Penalty, not enough. A try would see them secure victory. Uh, they get the penalty there, Fiji, and that is incredible. And there was a problem there for Danny Priso this time. What an incredible scenario. Three and a half minutes before I think probably their one of their biggest victories. And uh, just so that you know, they've beaten Australia twice back in the 1950s in Sydney, 1750, 1860. Beat Argentina, Scotland, Italy, Italy a few times, Wales in 2007. They've never beaten France, who are ranked eighth in the world ever. So you'd probably say that Australia, their biggest. Biggest scalp, but that was 50, 66 years ago for crying out loud. Oh, a goal goes over the top, Marchon, and they've just given the ball back to the French. Here's the Toulouse man up towards the 22. 
It's not done yet. They've still got a few minutes to go. Lambe takes the ball into the 22. France in the last chance saloon as Dumaru, Doom as he, the, he likes to be called, takes the ball into the 22 now. Dupont to Prizo. How much do they want this victory? We'll see in the next 140 seconds. Dupont. They need players. Dupont. Not much urgency there. Galetier. Dupont back to Bello. Bello, what has he got? Oh, he's dropped the ball there, Benjamin Fowl. They kick the ball forward. It's an opportunity. Look at the skills. They got good footballing skills. Teddy Thomas is coming back. Teddy Thomas, and he does exceptionally well. He needs to. Oh, they tackled him. He's been tackled. He's been tackled. It's the scrum five for Fiji. Oh my good gracious me. Teddy Chama did exceptionally well. And Benjamin Fowles spillage there. Look at the fantastic work. And the chasing from this man. Honestly, he's been playing like a teenager. Conover, the Newcastle winger. 54th match for Fiji. He's 34. Fiji, come on, let's play. Teddy Tama, 29 years younger than him. A little bit quicker. But my oh my, Gonover has been outrageously good. This is a performance that they will never forget. Ball fed into the scrum. It comes out, an opportunity. Senaloni gets the ball out. Now they're moving forward, but they've been held up. Release. Players have been tackled. It's a charge into the last minute. So they know how to do pick and go, the Fijians. I'm saying that with respect because I know that these guys like to pass the ball around. All they want to do is try and score that try. Here's the charge from the big man. He's been hit back. Tawaki. 20 seconds to go. There's the ball. Senaloni. Scoring the try. Nakarawa would love to score the try. Ball's there. Another charge, Fiji, we got past the 80 minute mark. They kicked the ball out, they've won. Well, they need to be careful, there's a penalty. Well, they've won the game. What are they gonna do? You've gotta go kick the ball out of play. <laughs> They're making it really nervous for everyone. Time is finished. Yeah. Oh! Tears on the field. It's over. Tears on the field. Keep it going. Ben Vola Vola. Well, this is. They've decided to go for the penalty. They should have just kicked the ball out. Because if. If this comes off the sticks, they can keep the ball alive for us, so it's kind of silly. But in any case, um, I'm sure that Ben Volavola, if he's got any sense, he'll just blast it out regardless if he misses or not. Just hit it as hard as you can and make it five, ten metres wide. It doesn't matter. You've got to just either kick it or kick it out. It doesn't, well, in any case, they've made their mind up to do this. He was right in what he was saying. And the three points are good. Fiji have done it. 21 points to 14. The biggest win for Fiji under their coach, John McKee. And the biggest victory for Fiji, well, in such a long time, since 2007, really. But there again, they beat Scotland, didn't they, last year? That was a big victory.
but they've never beaten France. And this is what it means to these guys. Strong words from Mathieu Bastereau. Well, there we go. Strong words from Bastereau, just saying that we've got to come down from the clouds, we've got to focus and we've got to work a lot harder than that, guys. This is not good enough. But for Leone Nakarawa and all of these Fijians, religion plays a, such an important part in their lives. Rugby is like a religion for them and they have showed what they're capable of doing out here tonight. Fiji.